Since day one, Coach Kevin Keithley preached one thing. I can guarantee you the style of play it will be the most exciting brand of basketball in the state of Kentucky. This coming from a man who once coached a team who put up 160 points in a game, which just happens to be an ABA record. Being a Floyd County native, Keithley is obviously no stranger to Eastern Kentucky. For those who didn't know, Keithley played high school ball here as well, one year at Betsy Lane High School. Keithley also spent several years coaching college ball in Eastern Kentucky. His first coaching stop began in Jackson, Kentucky at Lees College, where he served as an assistant coach from 1998 to 2000 under Mike Jones. Keithley became the youngest coach in the state of Kentucky as well. In his two years there, he led them to a league championship. It was there that he also met and coached alongside current Riverside Christian head coach James Turner. I could tell he had a lot of talent and a lot of drive and enthusiasm for the game. And I can learn a lot just by asking him questions. And I can just by watching him, I did learn a lot. But, well, Coach Keithley took me under his wing and we would go out and, and the, watch a lot of high school games. He would, would recruit a certain player. And I'd go with him. We'd talk about the game, of course, on the way to the game, the after the game. And we would uh, go out to the Sweet 16s, watch you know, the uh, Sweet 16 basketball tournaments. And we just talk a lot of basketball talk. His basketball IQ was just so high, I could learn a lot just by talking to him in general conversation about, about the game. After Lee's college, Keith Lee went to St. Catherine College, located in Springfield, Kentucky. There he served as an assistant from April of 2001 to November of 2002. At this stage of his coaching career, Keith Lee found himself coaching collegiate ball for four years and still at the ripe young age of 26. At St. Catherine, I, you know, it was a situation where, you know, I got to do a lot of things. Um, from recruiting to individual workouts to administrative duties. So it was just another area as a young coach that I really got to hone my skills, so to speak. And um, we had a pretty good run there. Uh, St. Catherine College, we averaged about 95 points a game. Uh, really, I took a lot from uh, Coach Burton's offensive scheme and put it into mine. Uh, and that's kind of how I still operate to this day from what I learned from him offensively. After his time at St. Catherine's, Coach got a call from the professional basketball team. It was the Louisville Eagles of the UPBL, or the United Pro Basketball League. While with the Eagles, Keith Lee served as the assistant head coach as well as the director of operations. It was there that Keith Lee coached a member of the 1996 NCAA All-Tournament team, Anthony Epps. It was also with the Eagles where Coach earned his second league championship in his short career. Uh, making the move from St. Catherine to uh, uh, Louisville uh, was a big transition, not only in terms of going from a smaller market to a bigger market, but also each step you make as a basketball coach is always a change, and, and uh, professionally it was no different. Uh, you do so many different things. Uh, there's so many different uh, situations you got to handle that you don't on the college level. So. After his stint with the Eagles, Coach joined the Kentucky Colonels. While with the Colonels, Keith Lee was voted the 2005 ABA Coach of the Year, and in 2006 he was named one of the top ten young coaches in America. It was there where Keith Lee was rejoined by Epps, as well as another former Wildcat, Antoine Barber. It was with the Colonels that Keith Lee made a long-standing relationship with those former Wildcats. So much so that when Coach Keith Lee wrote his book, Hardwood Constitution, A Blueprint to Coaching Success, Epps wrote the foreword. Or he came up and asked me for where he coached me in the past to uh, write the foreword for him. And being a friend, you know, I, you do everything for your friends. And he came up and asked me, so I thought that was a privilege, and I wrote it for him. Coach decided to write the book because he felt that at his point in his career he experienced so much that he wanted to share that knowledge with other aspiring coaches. And, uh, I got to think, I said, you know, you know what, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to lend my experiences to uh, other young coaches that's looking to get in the profession because it is tough. It's, a, uh, uh, it's much tougher than what people think it is. After coaching the Colonels, Keith Lee rejoined Steve Tucker, the man he coached under at Lee's College. This time, Coach served as a top assistant for the Rio Grande Silverados, who at the time was part of the ABA. Now you can find them as members of the CBA. Now, Keith Lee becomes the youngest pro coach in either the CBA and NBA. But do not let his age fool you. Just because he is young does not mean he is not intense. As a matter of fact, Antoine Barber would tell you that he is very intense. You know, Coach is a great guy, you know, intensified, you know, he's always ready to play, you know, on the bench. He never sits down. I've never seen him sit down. You know, and he's a great friend all off the court, you know, as well as on the court. You know, he's just an overall great guy. And the kids could bring, could feel his passion for the game. And because he was such a uh, intense coach, 
but a coach that really cared about his kids and really wanted them to excel. Keith Lee comes in with a very impressive resume. In his seven years, he has spent four years at the collegiate level, three at the professional level. He has won two league championships, published a book, and has never had a losing season. So when you look at it, who else would you rather want to coach the East Kentucky Miners?